How y'all doing? <sighs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. It has been quite some time since I've posted a YouTube video and it has been a while since I've been on Instagram. I've been really slow in the emails, I've been really slow in the DMs and I acknowledge that and I confess and that's just, yeah, that's my confession. I had to take some time away from social media and had to prioritise myself. I just had to prioritise my mental health, honestly. But that's my reason and I'm gonna try my hardest to be as active as possible on YouTube and try and give you guys as much useful content as I possibly can. So without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. <laughs> this video is a topic that is widely debated. Now before I go in, people with the comments, the comments. You do not need to take my word for gospel. Please do some research, ask questions, speak to people, ask for their opinions, but ultimately the decision is yours on what you decide to do. Coding boot camps versus degrees. It's split, you know, it's really, really a tough topic and I'm gonna do my best to kind of weigh out the pros and cons of either or. I've already done a video saying that I don't have a degree, but it doesn't mean that I don't believe in education. I don't believe in higher education. It's just not for me and, and, and that's just it. So what is a coding bootcamp? A coding bootcamp is an immersive program that will teach you how to code in a very short amount of time. It can be the three months, which is normally about an average. And there are some programs that will go on for about six months. I've seen that before. Some of the advantages of a coding bootcamp is honestly, you learn quickly. Everyone learns differently. I have learning difficulties, so sometimes me learning things might take a different strategy compared to someone who doesn't have those type of challenges. Another thing is that you can get a job quickly, but this also depends on the coding bootcamp. There are some coding bootcamps that don't offer you the opportunities where they're connecting you to potential employers. There are also coding boot camps that aren't really respected in the industry where they're teaching you well and some coding boot camps are genuinely just taking the if you go to a really good one they have good relationships with employers and recruiters and they can set you up with a job as a junior software engineer so <laughs> here's the, the disadvantages of going for coding boot camp some of the coding programs are taking the there are coding programs out there that are just taking your money teaching you something and then they're not helping you in finding a job they're not guaranteeing you that that investment will help you get a job you know you're taking a risk if a coding program can't guarantee me a job at the end of the program i'm, I'm not dropping five ten stacks on that just just for the sake of it like i want my investment to be worth something <laughs> It's expensive. I've seen one for 4,000. I know someone that's paid 4,000 for a coding program and they actually got a good job, a really good job. And there are other coding pro programs that do pay a lot more than that. And it leads to my next disadvantages is that some recruiters don't take that seriously. It's not a pass to get a job. And now we move on to degrees. Maybe I'm not the best person to talk about degrees because I don't have one. There are some really good benefits to getting a degree to get into tech. The first thing being they have the relationship with employers that will get you a job through graduate programs, internships, recruitment services. Another thing is that it's taken seriously. You have a degree from whatever university and you got a 2-1, you got a first in 
computer science, they might give you an opportunity for an interview more than they would someone that did a coding bootcamp for four months. The final advantage that I would say is that you're developing transferable skills that you can take into other industries if you decide that tech isn't really what you want to do. With the coding bootcamp, you're literally just learning coding. There's not really enough wriggle room to talk about like transferable skills. I mean, if you can try and figure it out, then by all means. Let's go to the disadvantages of university. Firstly, it's expensive. In the UK, you pay £9,500 a year for university. A lot of the times, a lot of the universities, the quality of education that doesn't match the price, it really doesn't. Like there are some crap universities out there and they're charging 9K for no reason. That I said what I said. Okay, well what okay. you said was some bull but you don't like it, it, you don't like it. The second thing is that getting a degree, just like a coding bootcamp, doesn't guarantee you a job. Yes, it might put your foot in the door. Yes, it will give you access to applying for graduate roles, but it does not guarantee that you will get a job in tech. A degree just isn't enough. Despite the financial investment, despite the hard work that you've done in your dissertation, it's not a guarantee. Um, the final thing that I will say is that it takes time. It's a long time. The average degree is normally about three years, possibly four. And there's a lot of time that you have to invest outside of the classes as well, in terms of preparing for exams, dissertations, essays, presentations maybe. And then there's the curriculum. Depending on the university that you go to, it's very much theoretical and not practical. And that can also put the student at a disadvantage when they can't practically apply what it is they're learning at university but that also depends on the university that you go to the modules that they're teaching and the level of and quality of education that they're providing you that's it for my video i hope you guys enjoyed it as i said in the beginning you do not need to take my word for gospel this is just my opinion weighing out the pros and cons for both there is no wrong way to get into tech you just have to find a journey for yourself and what works for you and what you have access to and um, before i just continue and lock off this video i just want to say this if you decide to go for a coding boot camp or university whichever choice you decide to take please please do your research do not make a financial commitment to either or until you've done extensive research and absolutely sure that they are able to provide you with a qualification that will help you and help you stand out when it comes to your future career in tech especially coding boot camps i have to say just be careful please do your research look on ask on social media if there's anyone that's heard of a particular coding bootcamp that you are thinking of making investment into google check media look at reviews do everything make sure that you go for coding programs that are connecting you with recruiters and do research on those recruiters just just research just research that's all i'm asking you i just wanted to just put that out there if you do want to get in touch you'll find all my social media handles down below you can also sign up for a newsletter where i send my latest blog and i'll also send out free monthly guides with free to low cost coding resources for you to download and share with others you will only find my blogs on jenniferopal.co i hope you found it useful and i will talk to you guys soon bye